Welcome to Radeon RAM Disk. In this video, we're going to discuss how to double your SSD speed. For this video, we're going to use the same settings we used on our prior setup videos. We've created a basic 4 gig RAM disk, and we've enabled low disk image at startup and save disk image at shutdown. That allows us to have a persistent disk. Now, if we go to my computer and look at the disks, we see there's a local disk, there's an Intel SSD, and there's a RAID array in this particular computer. Now you notice there's no RAM disk here yet, that's because we haven't formatted the drive. To do so, we go to Disk Management, and we look at the disk that's been created here. This is disk 3 in this case, which is the 4 gig RAM disk that we just created. Now I also have in here an Intel 320 series solid state disk. This is actually showing up currently as disk D, and I've only used about 4 gigs of space for that particular drive. And I've done that so that I can actually test the drive independently and then also be able to create a stripe with that drive and the RAM disk later on. So this disk is disk D and we've actually run some tests on that disk to show you what the performance is. And we'll get back to these numbers in just a minute, but I wanted to show you that we have already taken a performance measurement of drive D. Okay, we'll get back to that in just a second. Now from this screen, since we're already here, it's going to be very easy for us to create a dynamic disk with the RAM disk. So the plan here is we're going to basically stripe the RAM disk together with this solid state disk and double the performance of the solid state disk in the process. So we're actually just going to right click on this space here on the RAM disk. We're going to select a striped volume, hit next, and what we want to do is utilize this unallocated space on disk 1. So we're going to select disk 1 we're going to add that to our stripe and it automatically sizes that to match the RAM disk because there has to be a one-to-one -one relationship in the capacities of the two drives. So we'll just hit next and we'll let that assign the default drive letter and we're going to name this RAM disk. Hit next and finish. Now it's just telling us we're going to convert this to from a basic disk to a dynamic disk which was our plan all along so that's fine. And bingo, we have now a brand new striped dynamic disk. What this does is basically creates um, a, a wider data path to your storage. So it writes first to this drive, then to this drive, and back and forth, basically increasing your performance dramatically when you have a much faster storage device in the mix. So we also get an autoplay dialog when that drive was created. And if we look up here, we see now that we have the RAM disk in our available disk drives. Now here's the cool thing. We've taken this and tested it with our disk mark uh, benchmarking tool. And I'll pull up the Intel test on drive D, which was the SSD on our Intel. Um, we've got some really good performance numbers here. And we've run the same test with that, with that drive striped with the RAM disk. All right, so you'll see that basically right away, all of our performance numbers are essentially doubled. So this is a great way to really simply set up RAM disk with, a, with an SSD or actually any other storage. I could have, for example, taken this, um, this mechanical RAID array I have here and, and created a stripe with the RAM disk and doubled its performance as well. But in this case, I have an SSD, so I want to actually increase its performance. And this is true across the board. So any storage you have in your system, if you want to double its speed, and the cool thing about it is also you happen to be able to double the RAM disk capacity as well. So this drive that we created is actually twice the size of the individual RAM disk. So we've doubled the RAM disk capacity and we've doubled the speed of our SSD, which is an awesome benefit. Um, and of course, you can then use that disk in any way that you would normally use that disk in your system. You can install your games, your workspace, your video editing, audio editing, internet temp files, whatever you want to do with it. And the cool part is this is all automatic and in the background. So you never have to go back into the GUI and change any settings because we've enabled the load and save settings in the RAM disk GUI, that allows us to have this um, stripe persistent. So even if we shut down the computer and restart it, everything comes back the way it was. Thanks for watching and check back for more videos.